When it comes to preparing for war, the military is making sure they're using the best tech available. First up, How and How Technologies is rolling out the Ripsaw MS-1, an unmanned ground surveillance and assault vehicle. It's equipped with a dual set of treaded tracks to cross over terrain and reach speeds of 60 miles per hour. The operator sits safely inside a mobile command center and can control the Ripsaw from up to six miles away. The Ripsaw has a payload of 2,000 pounds, allowing it to be outfitted with various cameras, sensors, and artillery. How and How Technologies hopes to find a contractor to mass produce these vehicles and get them onto the battlefield soon. Our troops will also be getting aerial support from a micro air vehicle that looks like a flying cake. Aerospace company Honeywell has created the T-Hawk, a gas-powered recon and target tracking vehicle. Based on the Army's future combat systems model, the T-Hawk is easily transported inside a soldier's backpack and can be launched from anywhere in the battlefield. The T-Hawk has vertical takeoff and hovering capabilities, flies at speeds over 40 miles per hour, and has a flight ceiling of 7,000 feet. It's also equipped with cameras to relay info back to a handheld terminal. Honeywell will let the Pennsylvania National Guard test the T-Hawk before deploying to Iraq, and maybe figure out how to get the kegs out to work. Lastly, Korea's Agency of Defense Development is working on a new type of combat uniform that would make any Halo player jealous. This state-of-the-art battle dress uniform, or BDU, includes a bulletproof helmet equipped with sensors and a body temperature control system. Korean soldiers will also get a new multi-function machine gun. The XK-11 fires both standard rounds and 20-millimeter grenades. It uses thermal imaging and lasers for targeting, giving the soldiers easy point-and-shoot capabilities. Korea's Agency of Defense Development plans to start producing the combat suit and rifle in 2009. Energy Sword is not included. Whether it's assault recon or self-defense, the troops are saving lives with the latest military tech.